Right then guys, this is my last day on the road in Monmouthshire. Bit sad really, isn't it? I mean, I've been to four courses, this is my fifth. Should I do my sad face, my... Yeah, I can't do that for long. So yeah, so the last golf course is the Monmouthshire, just outside Abergavenny. It's an old course, about 120 years old, and it's very busy today. So I'm doing the introduction here rather than on the first tee. There probably isn't going to be a lot of time for chat on the actual golf course. So um, could be all voiceover. From what I can see, it's very pretty. And uh, I got up here very early. I've been on the practice ground, I'm trying to sort out a few bugs in the swing as you saw yesterday at West Monmouthshire the old coming down steep again but hopefully today will be better and it has to be better this is a parkland tree-lined golf course it's 120 years old there's a lot of mature trees if I'm hitting bad ones today I'm gonna get punished got a four balls in front several uh, I've got a two ball behind and then there's a bit of a gap so as soon as the two ball catches me I'm just going to stand aside let them go and then uh, I should be in a nice window where I can stroll a bit and enjoy the golf course and enjoy my golf. So I'll see you on the first tee in a little bit. First hole is this little dog leg to the left. I could lay up. What's the fun in doing that? This surprised me. I wasn't expecting an uphill par three. Now, obviously, right is dead, so I'm going at the left edge of the green with a knife. Oh, well done, Simon. Downhill all the way back to the flag, and I thought it was going to be quick, and it just wasn't. You know the story. Get a birdie, give it straight back. What a muppet. Number three is this high tee just behind the second green. Straight hole, wins off the left. Aiming down the left and yeah, the, the club was a little late to the party there. Aiming at the left edge of the green. And another clunker. See, I've had these golf lessons and some shots are absolutely wonderful and some are just not so good. And I've hit that about 50 yards. Yeah, not a lot of sand in there. Right then, I got a minute. Um, the four ball in front has turned into a two ball, and the two ball behind has turned into a one ball. And I, you know, I just rushed the second and the third holes there. Now the green fee today is forty pounds, which is which is quite reasonable. You know, it's within my budget of the kind of money I would spend. Um, but for forty pounds, I'd expect some sand in the bunker. Right, there is a ditch across this fairway and the carry is about 235, so um, 
this one is gonna get beasted. Yep, that is beasted. Yeah, might have been a bit of anger in that one. The flag is way at the back. In fact, I can barely see the top of the flag from here. But that is one of the good shots that I'm getting after the lesson. I've just been called through, so the camera is a little bit on the piss. This is an awkward putt, so I'm happy to take two putts here and get me par and get the hell out. Especially after a double. Cute little par three. Off a mat, obviously because of the number of divots that would get taken. If they didn't have a mat, it would destroy the tee box. Smoked it by the edge. Yeah, I, I really wanted that one just to get back at that double I had. Right, the first par five. Got the river usk down the left, line of trees down the right. It is as tight as arseholes. But I'm taking driver anyway. Right, I got 205. Can't see much of the green and I can't see what's left of the green. But I've got these trees in my way. So I'm, I'm gonna go five wood and see if I can hit a high one. I mean, I'm only here once, so give it a go. Yeah, just got one leaf, so it's a fraction short, but bird is on. Right. Sorry, I haven't been able to chat because of the, the traffic on the golf course, but I've been let through now. So uh, I don't think there's anything in front of me for ages. Now the river rusk runs down the side of this hole and the best view of it was from the tee box, but I couldn't hang around. But look at this. This is a mature golf course, obviously, it's 120 years old. It's in great shape, apart from that bunker. Lots of mature trees, so lots of shade. Now it's not as hot today as it was yesterday, but the humidity is right up because we got a storm coming in this evening. Oh, look at that, I just made the front edge. Hmm. Don't know whether to chip or putt. Yeah, I just caught the top of this bugger right above me now. Still, yeah, even though we're down in the valley, we don't have the views of yesterday at, uh, at West Monmouthshire, but there are some views here. This is very nice. This hole sums up what my first lesson has done for me. The wind is down, it's out the left. I want a little draw against the wind. And that's bloody perfect. Apart from the bounce at the end of it. Now that's a club drop. Second shot, I can't go directly at the flag. So I'm going front left. I'm taking a club that will just get me 
onto the green with a little fade. Go on, keep turning. I just wish what I did on the green was as good as what I did off the tee box. Third par five on the trot. Now it's back into the wind and it's a little off the right, so this time I'm going with the fade. I've used the driver four times so far this round, and all four of them have been absolutely perfect. What a difference to yesterday and previous days when I was popping it up in the air. Let's go make another bird. That's a little bit of a squirt to the right. Clubhead a little late to the party. And that is just about good enough. You know, on paper, when you look on the card and you look at the yardage of these three par fives, I think they're going to be a piece of cake. Should be able to get two birds out of them. But then you go stand on the tee box and you see how narrow it is. And uh, this last one's got rather a small green and the previous one had that little raised green which I couldn't put on. So, paper it looks easy, reality not so much. So I'm really happy with what I've done. Par 4 to finish the 9. Very tight. I've virtually got a drive at this left hand tree. But it's another one of those 275 yard drives plus. I'm enjoying this. <laughs> 